Okay, so we're just going to go over how to use the filter and search functions within Unreal 4 and the different places that you can use them in. I uh, suppose the first place we could start is the content browser. So in here, uh, you can see at the top that you can search for your assets. Okay, so if I have my player, I can search for it and find my controller, my player, sprites, um, any blueprints associated with that, anything will come up in the search if you search it that way. We also have uh, these handy filters as well. So there's a drop down menu where you can go in and go, I want to filter by blueprint class. And if I do that, it's only going to bring up those blueprints. And then I can also narrow it down by doing a word search. Okay, so now I've got my controller, player, and a blueprint attached to my death. And you can do that with any class or any type of class of asset that you want. So material, particle, system, static mesh. Another cool feature is you can also search for what items are just in this scene, okay? So if I go to filters, other filters, and then if I go to in use by level, just make sure I have that on, it will only show me what objects are in this level, okay, or this scene. And that's really handy if you just want to narrow down your search. Uh, another cool thing that you can have, um, when you're searching, is under view options, you can go show collections. So I've set up a collection here for my player where I've just dragged and dropped objects into this. Um, Basically, I've dragged assets in here that are associated with my player, and I could go further and drag on all the sprites that I have attached to my player. And it just means that when I'm ever searching for anything associated for my player, I don't have to maybe type in the name, search, or by, search by class, or anything like that. I can just go to this collection, and I know anything that's uh, to do with my player will be in here. So all that you have to do is drag and drop objects in there for that. It's really, really handy. Um, you also have in your Word Outliner a search bar here where I could search for, you know, player and it'll bring up my player starts or post process and it'll bring up my post process volume. It's really important that you name things appropriately because if you want to search for aspects that are in your level, then, you know, using the search filter here is really handy. Another thing that I try and do is use the folders inside my word outliner um, this means that again if i want to search for or select anything that's to do with my background it's all in a folder i could even right click the folder and go select immediate children and it will select all my background aspects so i don't have to individually select them or even use shift and select it's really quick um, another thing is if you're ever searching in details um, so for instance, if I'm selecting my post-process volume, I may have a heap of settings in here. and Sometimes it's not always uh, quick to find something uh, manually, but again, you've got a search option up here. So for instance, if I type in auto, it'll bring up my auto exposure settings so that I can change. Or if I type in bloom, it'll bring up those bloom settings for me as well. So there's just a few ways that you can use the search functions and filters uh, in Unreal to help you locate assets.